viewers this is Sarim Khan and today I have some very special and interesting news for you to tell. Do you know Unacademy is having all India championship test called Unacademy Ascent. This is a championship for all the fellow students from class 6 to class 12. This is a live quiz on 1st November 2020 at 11 am for 1 hour. The, and this syllabus is NCRT which you can study on Unacademy application. 6 to 10 kids will have 40 questions while 11 to 12 students will have 60 questions and you can even win the scholarship up to 5 lakh rupees i have already registered that and if you also want to register that then you can register by getting all the links in the description below i see you there and let's begin our today's topic and today i am going to solve this question that was asked in j main 2019 on 9 january on in second shift and this question okay it can be solved using the laws of motion okay it means the concept is used of the laws of motion since we have studied the chapter laws of motion so we'll be using its concept of the laws of motion and then we can easily very easily in some lines we can solve this question so first of all our question will be asking to us that a mass of 10 kg is suspended vertically from the okay vertically by a rope from the roof when a from the roof when a horizontal force is applied on the mass the rope deviated at an angle of 45 degree at the roof point if the suspended mass is at equilibrium the magnitude of the force applied is option a it is 70 newtons option b 200 newtons option c 100 newtons and option d 140 newtons this question we have to solve and it has been given that tech g equals to 10 meter per second square means we'll be not using acceleration due to gravity as 9.8 meter or 9.81 meter per second square we'll be using it as 10 meter per second square of course then now let's begin our solution Okay then, first of all what is given, imagine we are making a FBD diagram of this, okay, imagine we are making a free body diagram of this. So how will it be made? First of all, a mass of 10 kg is suspended vertically by a rope from the roof. Imagine this, imagine this is the roof. I am making this as a roof. So from this roof, any block of mass 10 kg, okay, any mass 10 kg is suspended from here. Vertically, okay, vertically here it is suspended. Imagine it to be such, imagine it to be such. Here its mass is, okay, its mass is 10 kg. Now we can see that first of all, after this it is given, when a horizontal force is applied on the mass, the rope deviated at an angle of 45 degree at the roof point. Means from here, horizontal force we are applying in this direction. Imagine that horizontal force to be F. Then what happens after some time, it comes at this inclination. After some time, it comes here it happens such when okay and since we know then this angle comes out to be 45 degree okay here is our mass so since okay here is our mass hung this is of 10 kg so this we got of course when we applied any constant any force of any magnitude constant magnitude horizontal force horizontally then what happened that the that what happened to the rope that it deviated to an angle of 45 degree with the with this point with roof point so this mass came here and this rope came here so here we have to tell that if the if this suspended mass is at equilibrium means the net force over this component x component of net force will be zero y component of net force will be zero then we have to tell then what will have to tell the magnitude of this constant force applied by that that constant force by which the rope was deviated through an angle of 45 degree okay in which one mass of 10 kg was hung okay so first of all we have to solve this here here in this line one very interesting point is given the main solution solution to this question since we know understanding a question is a 50 percent solution of that question so here one very important thing is given that can help us in the solution is that if the suspended mass is at equilibrium whichever mass is at equilibrium net force is zero on that so here we here it is very important sentence so we can call if it is at equilibrium then sigma of fx will be zero and sigma f 
y will be also zero. This is the condition for equilibrium. Means if those two conditions, this mass is falling, it means it is in equilibrium. It is already in equilibrium. Means those two conditions, it will must follow. Then what if we find out the net force? What if we find out the value of sigma f x? Later we put its value zero. From there, of course, value we can get. Then let us try y to wait. So here it is given. Which forces are acting? First of all, horizontally in x-axis towards x-axis, which are acting. This is acting. One f is acting. Okay, f is acting. Now horizontally, since we know any more forces acting than f. Okay, just like one f is acting this direction. Now since we know, and imagine since we know here which f force will be acting mg. mg of course so mg is equals to what mass into acceleration due to gravity whose value is 10 meter per second square so 10 into 10 which is equals to 100 in newtons in newtons now here see here tension will be acting here tension will be acting this direction so what if we find out the x component of this tension what will happen of course we can it's like this is a horizontal force this is which kind of force is this since we know this is a vertical force but first of all we need the horizontal forces okay some of all the horizontal forces so first of all since we know then horizontal force we need so what will be doing of course since we all know that tension is acting here here tension will be acting of course and since we know that imagine if i am making a line vertical line i am making a vertical line i just draw a vertical line from here then since we all know if you have studied maths then you will know that then this angle will be equals to this angle then this is also 45 degree this is 45 degree this is here so its y component we can find okay of course it will be t cos 45 degree as x component then x component of this will be what will it be okay it's sin t sin 45 degree so first of all by this what we are getting that uh, f minus t sin 45 degree F minus t sine forty five degree equals to zero. Can we write such? Because since we know sigma f x is, is equals to zero, sigma f x value we have done here. F minus t for sine forty five degree. Then its value will put zero. Okay, of course. Then next we can see this is so. First of all, since we know, since we already know that in this direction, this was t sine forty five degree. This is. T cos 45 degree because since we know here cos will be done, it is making such angle with this. Then here cos will be done. Then T cos 45 degree. Since we all know that now what we have to do this force. Okay, mg, mg minus mg minus. T cos 45 degree. Now vertical forces we have to take. Why vertical? Because since we know y component of the force, sum of y component of the forces are zero. This is why y component of the all forces will be taking. Since we know F is totally horizontal. For totally horizontal, its y component is zero. So zero plus. So what will happen? This value will come. So no need to take y component of any totally horizontal thing. So this we got. Now imagine since we know i have to find out the value of this you would be thinking why i wrote this equation okay of course i wrote this equation only imagine i am dividing imagine i am dividing those two so what will happen so of course what will i get since we know implies that to f can i write as t sin 45 degree Yeah, of course I can write to F. I can also write T sine forty five degree. This I'll transfer here. Of course, this I will transfer here. M G equals to M G equals to T cos forty five degree. Of course, this I did. Now only what I have to do. Imagine I am dividing and uh, F and M G. So it will happen such. Of course, I divide those two forces. Then F by And J is equals to what? Is equals to T sine forty five degree by T cos forty five degree. T and T cancel. Sine forty five degree and cos forty five degree is left. Sine forty five degree one by root two by cos forty five degree one by root two. Root two and root two cancel. What we got one. F by M J is equals to one. Okay, F by M J equals to one. First of all, let me rub it from here. Then I'll be solving. Okay. So here, what we have got that f by m j is equals to one implies that 
okay mg value let us put mg value we had found here 100 newtons then f by 100 newtons is equals to 1 cross multiplication will do implies that the f is equals to 100 newtons okay f is equals to 100 newtons so final answer what we got since we know what was asked if the suspended particle suspended mass was at equilibrium then what will be the value of this force this horizontal force applied on the okay on our particle or on our mass so in that case when it is an equilibrium then in, in that case we can call that the force applied will be 100 newtons so we can also call like this if we have any mass of 10 kg okay Okay, hung vertically and we apply a constant force F on that 100 Newton force will apply so of course it will be deviated through an angle of 45 degree so okay final and so we got then since we know first is 70 newtons first option is wrong second is 200 newtons second is wrong third is 100 newtons hence option 3 is correct and D is also wrong which is 140 newtons final answer what we got 100 newtons hence option C is correct implies that here we need to apply a horizontal force of 100 newtons to deviate in the given particle of mass 10 kg through an angle of 45 degree so this was my today's topic based over this question of J means 2019 so so thank you.